Hey guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House at the freezing cold tiny house. Uh, 1138 time dates temps, minus 1.7 Celsius inside, and it is minus 6.2 Celsius outside. Add the wind chill, we're looking at minus 17 at the moment. I'll s and uh, <laughs> I'll open the door to show you that wonderful uh, wind. You can probably hear it. Better view is with the cattails over here. And the wind turbine is in uh, gust mode basically. All right guys, so I had this uh, cardboard box that I found. Um, and it's actually from my dad's trailer. He wanted it out of there. So I'm gonna burn it. And I threw all my lumber in the box for now to transfer into here easily. And my buddy Pierre, one of the Patreon members for a long time, had a special request for me. He says, well, let's fire up the old cubic mini Grizzly and the barrel stove at the same time or close to it. So I said, yeah, that'd be sweet. Um, I have to use up my uh, wood pellets anyway. And uh, that'll be, whoa, <laughs> that'll be a good, uh, good way to do that. So I got this bag to use up. So we'll try that. We'll do uh, a twofer because I haven't fired the grizzly in a while, in a, almost a year, and there's still some lumber in there that I can use up. Sweet. So I'm going to fire both stoves today for my Patreon members and uh, for you guys here on YouTube. So uh, sit back and enjoy. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to do the Cubic Mini Grizzly here first. And what I'm going to do is toss in some of these cotton rounds, fire starters that I make, just on top of this uh, wood that's in here. And then I'm going to pile the wood pellets on top. And as these um, cotton rounds warm up, they, the, the liquid or the oil in there will transfer into some of those pieces of lumber. And uh, kind of soak in and uh, help with ignition that way as well. So I'm going to put a couple uh, scoopfuls of wood pellets in there right on top and then I'm going to give it a squirt of uh, hand sanitizer or alcohol. Gelled alcohol basically and uh, go from there. Sorry if I'm in the way of this camera here guys <clears throat> but it is what it is at this mo moment in time I think that's plenty for now uh, the problem with the cubic mini grizzly is the combustion airs are poorly engineered and I need a little I got a little mortar and pestle stick here because I gotta have to push this crap back I have to dig out the combustion air in the front just to get this thing to work, which is a little bit annoying with this stove and probably why I got sick and tired of it, <laughs> if you ask me. So let's go ahead and shoot some alcohol in there. A little bit everywhere to start. And we'll light this sucker up. See where see how far we get. My crappy Dollar Tree lighters. Alright. Or not. Oh, it's not even on. That'll help. <laughs> All right, so that's one down. Uh, I like to leave the door open um, to give it the go. Go ahead with the uh, combustion here, guys. And then I'm gonna switch over to get the barrel stove running. I keep this damper, um, this damper down here. You don't open till you're rip-roaring. This uh, brass one here, it pulls straight back. 
straight out to you. So hopefully uh, all this stuff catches. A little bit of leftover lumber in there from a year ago, so I'm sure it's nice and uh, seasoned up. And you hear that popping? That's the oil coming off of the cotton rounds. And you know how nasty oil fires are. Well, same thing here. So actually when it liquefies the oil, the oil um, travels and gets on all the wood pellets and other lumber in there. And that's helped, that soaks it in to the wood's pores and then it acts as a extra long lighter f fuel for the wood. So it burns a little bit longer and catches a little, a little bit easier at the same time. So that's kind of cool. So I'll let you guys enjoy that and I'm going to load up the barrel stove. Um, probably won't show that, but I'll let you guys enjoy this over here. You guys can hear the wind turbine going crazy, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> to be continued, I guess, all night. Oh, we'll find out if the insulated bed frame worked a lot better this time. So that'll be a bonus. Um, I'm gonna grab a scoop of wood pellets to throw onto the barrel stove too, just to help get rid of some more. It seems to be cooking pretty good up the stove there, so that's a good a good plan. Holy crap, guys! I'm gonna have to show you outside here. Um, it's getting bad. Like crazy bad. So let me pick you up. Oh, fireplace hanging on my wall. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Look out here, guys. We're talking uh, pretty extreme weather coming through, and I'm st like blizzard conditions are coming in. So uh, yeah, you wonder why I'm loading up the wood stove down here. Probably can't see much, but um, uh, I'll keep you on the actual fire that's going first for a while. Whoa! I want to drop the camera. All right, back to a nice dual competing fires to warm up the off-grid tiny house. That'll be fun. All right, back to work stocking up the stove. So basically I do the same thing guys. So I put a layer of cotton rounds down on the lumber I put in as my base in the barrel stove and put a just a scoop of wood pellets. Then I put the alcohol on and that helps uh, basically start her up and uh, go from there. And then what I like to do is build an A-frame kind of up around that so it had the fire can climb and go to town that way. So that's the main thing. Just on a bigger scale guys. You know, bigger scale. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. That's a good enough lumber for now. That's pretty decent. I'm not gonna chunk that one in half. There we go. Oh, how we doing over here at the Cuba Grizzly Mini? Starting to draw yet? Not quite. May have to add a little bit more wood pellets. Hmm. Unfortunately. Well, I'll load it up. See what we can get. Whoa! You guys are getting hell focused out because of the uh, moisture. All right. So wind turbine is not producing power because we kind of have gusty winds from all directions blizzard style which isn't the greatest if you ask me for a, a strong steady wind constantly is what you really want not a bunch of turbulence but whatever we deal with stuff as it goes right So I'll leave that in there and uh, I'll give you some updates guys as uh, we get the both barrel stoves up and running. Woohoo!